Today we are revisiting a beautiful Yorkshire shoot. I hope you enjoy this revisit to one of my favourite places, Jervo. Some people might remember it uh, with the name Jervo Abbey. Very beautiful part of the countryside. The shoot is organised and managed by my good friend Kev Joblin. He tried his best to beat me and succeeded on a few occasions, sending the Jervo pheasants hurtling off tree-lined escarpments, heading downhill at a pace hard to measure and certainly harder to connect with. This only made Kev laugh and giggle even more than usual, as he took great pride in showing his birds at their best. Enjoy, and thank you for watching. Hello, we're here at Jervo shoot today, uh, another gem of a Yorkshire shoot. Uh, by kind invite of my good friend Kev Joblin and uh, it's a fantastic day for shooting. Conditions are absolutely brilliant. It's a very brisk wind. Might be too strong but they'll certainly test the, the guns today. I can just imagine what the pheasants and the parties are going to go like today. I've just seen a pheasant go over the wood there trying to work the wind with his tail. He's opted to go back into the wood out of the way. The first pheasant that came over, the, I nearly fell over for the second shot because the bloody wind was that strong. You get that? They're off. They're all favouring the wood and going down over the uh, the last three pegs. Burst it, but they've really got a lot of speed on them. And that was the steadiest one I've seen because because he's trying to get upwind, you see. But you see him working the tails, Jonathan, can't you? Yeah. They're not, you know. This is a it's a it's a nice drive. Some lovely uh, birds here. Look at this one here. I try to tell people when the when the if they're missing all the time. If it's a windy day, look for the direction of the pheasant. If they're going upwind, then they are a slower bird. But believe me, if they're going downwind, you've got, you've got to throw that gun with twice more lead on it. It's just... See, this is a little bit slower. But they're coming out to my right, they're battling the wind, and they are a little bit steadier. But when they're going down that way, they're absolutely... Uh, Tremendous birds. Don't film him, don't film him talking about the wind because he'll just talk it down altogether. But I thought it was a fantastic drive. What do you think, Rob? Lovely. lovely drive, nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, smile. <laughs> Next one. Kev, can you tell us the madness behind this Evers up nods down? Yeah, it's to get everybody yeah. away from you. Because everybody's confused. <laughs> when I'm just single gunning, I prefer this. Because it's just, I, I've had it shortened, so I, you know, because with, with my single gunning, I get it in the, into my shoulder a lot quicker. When you're double gunning, 
you're already nearly in the shoulder, you see. And that my, my other guns are a quarter inch longer. Fantastic birch coming off this second drive. Kev, uh, it was a bit, a bit heavy, quavy weather, the, uh, the duck under the wind, but the farther from the truth, making excellent birds. And some, some of them's going out of range. And really fast birds, and require full attention of the gun. You like that, Kev? You can probably hear how windy it is here. Well, believe me, you know, look at the clouds, the clouds are going at a pace here. And the birds are more than matching the pace. I'll bet top of him. What a, what a really good display, Kev. Really good display, mate. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Kev. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, David. Some of them, some of them well nice. Shot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, did you like that one above the wood? Yeah. More than your neighbour did. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, you told me to do it. <laughs> Get that no, tell very, very good shot. Yes, very be honest, shot. you'll tell me to do it. Yes. <laughs> Get that. Every bunch of teammates are allowed to shout, Steve. Good lad. Steve. Good lad. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing his head off. Oh, I see him. I said, I'm not like that. Yeah. <laughs> Get stuck in, he owes me. That's what he said. Beautiful soup, isn't it? Is, that, is it that still? Bloody cork, isn't it? Obviously, anybody can see on the, you know, uh, on the uh, the film that uh, he can only produce high birds off this. And uh, in, in Kevin's own words, he says, "You'll see some 80 yarders here." So we've seen a few 60 yarders already, and they've took some shooting. <laughs> about these pheasants, especially a cock pheasant, you can actually see him working his tail all the time in the wind, breaking, turning, you've got to take all that into consideration, you know, when you put the bloody gun on them. Missed him. Look at this one here. Watch out, they just set up 500 yards away from us, but I bet some of them make it over us.
Well done, buddy. Proper show in that. That's something more difficult than I've shot it. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, with the time they got here, you've got to put gun there while that bird were up there, don't you, Dennis? Yeah. yeah. But they've working out the hypotenuse as well. <laughs> unbelievable, aren't they? Well done, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Proper, proper right. birds, then, mate. Trying a few test loads, what Game Board have sent me over. Uh, they are a plastic load, and uh, I think these are these uh, 36 gram fours, um, or they could be the, 30, the new 36 gram three. Oh. 